Today, we're making chili chimichangas. So if you love homemade chili with beans, and you like deep fried chimichangas, stay tuned because this recipe is up next. First thing you're going to need is a real nice thick homemade chili. I put this recipe together for you a while back and I'll include it at the end of this video and in the description below. It can be made with meat only or with beans. And no matter how you prefer your chili, this is an excellent filling for chimichangas. And the secret is to use the leftovers, if you have any by the way. See once it's refrigerated it gets real nice and thick like this. The last thing you want is a runny chili bleeding out into the fry oil. You'll also need a good quality flour tortilla like these tortillas made at my local Mexican flour tortilleria. They're a little bit doughier when you buy them fresh like this, but that's exactly what you want because they'll taste better and they crisp up better when they're fried. Now all we need is a big heaping tablespoon of chili. We'll slap that right down in the center of one of these tortillas and we'll spread it out evenly. Maybe even a little bit more so it can thicken up a bit. And the secret to rolling these things, you fold in the sides, then the back side over, and then roll it through. But if you look, sometimes you have the sides kind of sticking out like this. Yeah, well, if you unroll it here, I'll show you, straighten out the seams, then roll it through. See right here? Looks much better. And you can pre-make these, bag them, and freeze them and save them for later. Now on the stove I've got a small pot with about three quarters of an inch of canola oil. I'm going to turn my heat to medium low. Then I'll drop a couple of these in, just enough to fill the bottom of the pot. Now if you choose to put more oil in your pot, you don't have to worry about flipping them every minute or so. But I use less oil for less waste. But if I were making a few dozen of these, I'd probably use my deep fryer. But just take a look at that golden brown on the outside. And after about a minute on each side, use some tongs. You can pull each one of these out. Try to drip off the excess oil. And then you can place it on some paper towels. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And share this video with your friends if they want to know how to make some amazing chimichangas. Check out this crisp. Don't mind the television or my heavy breathing because I'm hungry. You can dress these up with some cheese right over the top. It's best right out of the fryer when they're hot so it'll melt a bit. Then slap down some sour cream and sprinkle some green onion and chopped cilantro right over the top. And there you have it. Chili chimichangas right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.